Hello, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm sharing with you attempt number two at back to back battle royale wins across the two modes. So, this time I went in, and I'm doing a voice over this. This is something I recorded uh, just whilst I was playing, and I went in with my favoured mode at the moment, which is distance battle. Um, I thought I'm more likely to get a win on on that, so that's where I would start. So first round in, um, you can immediately recognise that this is the UK, so that's a that's a good thing for me. Um, just really having a look around, trying to identify where that might be within the country. Gowerton, uh, I think that's said as a rugby football club. I don't know where that is, so. Not, not somewhere I've heard of before. I needed to have a look around and try and find some additional information. Um, and in one of those signs, I saw Swansea being mentioned. So that helps me narrow it down to the city in Wales. And here we have Gowerton in the south of Wales. And I reckon we're in around about the right sort of spot there. And as you can see, get three um, guesses earned, and sort of right bang on where where it was, which is a good start. So round number two, initially uh, initial vibes are uh, European, and I'm starting to think uh, could be Spain or. Portugal, so I'm trying to differentiate in terms of the language. Now, obviously, Oxford Press is a bit mis misleading there, they do exist in other countries. So I find that a, a lot of the time I'm looking for language uh, clues, but I do still sometimes have a bit of an, apart from the obvious um, letter combinations and words, I still do find. That differentiating between um, Spanish and, and Portuguese can be a little tricky for me. So here I I, I don't think it is Seville, but I think maybe maybe it's nearby, um, and actually it ends up being Barcelona. But luckily, someone else was further away from me. Everyone pretty much went for Spain. Um, but we're through to the third round, which is the main thing. And initial thoughts here are uh, North America. So is it Canada? Is it the US? I've got a single yellow line there. I'm thinking maybe this is Canada. Seeing if any of these signs give me more information. There's a very long um, pickup truck there, extended, uh, and I can't really find any info. So I just kind of I'm not sure whether it's Canada, whether it could be the US. So I do hedge my bets a little bit there, and it turns out to be Edmonton. So uh, feeling that it might be Canada was was the right gut feel. I should have been a little bit more confident with it. It was a lack of it, uh, empirical evidence, essentially, that uh, made me doubt myself. So this sort of round I find very tricky. This is there's a lot of countries that have this sort of you know the mountainous, dry roads, little in the way of signs, and if I you know I struggle if I can't find the more overt clues. As I say, I quite often find myself looking for language. If I can find a sign with a bit of language on it, that will help. Obviously, if it's South America, then uh, a lot of that's going to be Spanish, apart from the Brazilian chunk. Um, so I'm running out of time. I can't see any signs. I go slap bang in the middle of South America. 
again just trying to hedge my bets and see where I land in amongst everyone and I'm starting to move down here so getting a bit worried but luckily the time is on my side and I actually ended up being down on the sort of uh, southwest of southwestish of Argentina and maybe that, that's you know in hindsight was probably a little bit more obvious um, and I should have gone down to that sort of direction Chile or Argentina anyway into uh, the final six and initial thoughts here are Scandinavia or possibly um, Estonia or one of the Baltic countries but because of the short dashes I'm thinking either Sweden or Estonia and I go for pretty much the middle of Sweden here again no signs that are going to help me get it exactly so I'm just want to see where I place against everyone else and, and try and adjust if I need to And we're through. So going well down to the final five. So based on my average for these rounds, this you know I'm, I'm now in the territory of improving my average score. So anything from this point is a bonus. So here we've got uh, Arabic, a lot of white buildings. We're obviously somewhere very hot. I'm just checking the sign, seeing how much, you know, whether there's any other languages. Um, there's obviously a bit of English there. It looks like brand names, but it's, it is mostly Arabic. So... I decided to go for the UAE, uh, sort of sandwiched between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. You can see them at the bottom there, and I start panicking. I think maybe this is Amman in Jordan, and I jump up, but I'm 1,400 yards short. So, as we see here, it was Amman. I was lucky. I think that you know I was further away from the centre to see it was from the points from these other guys but luckily someone else had guessed it a completely different country so I made it through and into the final four initial uh, reaction to this round is that we're back in the UK so I'm, I'm thinking great this is I've got a great opportunity to get a fairly decent um, position on this one and see me through to the final three doesn't always work out I've got to say it's backfired a couple of times but generally speaking, I'm you know, pretty good at getting a reasonably close, certainly closer than, I guess, people that aren't from the UK. So just carrying on up this road, not seeing anything obvious here at the moment that's going to help me narrow it down. But there's a sign, gives us our brave Dundee, tells me that we're in Scotland. And uh, Time's running out, so I don't have time to get exact with it, but I'm thinking... Uh, if I get it in the region, then I'm going to be safe. And there we go, 45 miles ahead of the next person. Someone went much further south. And we're through to the final three. So here we've got another one with the dashed lines. This time I'm thinking this is Estonia. There's something about it a little bit more... Um, run down the uh, bus stop sign to me looks like it could be um, it, well, it wouldn't be Sweden um, and then I recognise Tartu from this sign so I eventually open the map and zoom in to try and find Tartu and I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that but there it is, and, and now trying to find the other place names that are on those signs. Let's see if I can get this as close as possible. Jump to the top of the list. 
which is obviously good. Just keeping an eye on whether they push me down at all. I've got a guess. Uh, I've got a lot of guesses that I can use, but I didn't need it. And another three guesses in. So I've done a you know really good strong game this time. Accumulated a lot of guesses, more than I can possibly use in the last round, but I didn't need to use them elsewhere. So here we've got the stripe, yellow and black stripes. I'm thinking Taiwan. And I always find it incredibly difficult to narrow it down in Taiwan. I don't, I don't recognise the language. And so generally speaking, I just try and pepper. As, as long as I've got the guesses, I'll try and pepper it um, with guesses. So I'm able to cover off as much as possible. Screenshot the world is a few hundred miles away. So at this point, I'm thinking they're in Taiwan. But then that guess suggests to me that they're not. And it extends my lead a bit, as does that. So I'm getting closer. I'm getting a feeling that it's in this sort of region. So I'm just going to keep peppering once my guesses are available. At the moment, he's not getting any closer. And we have a winner. So that's good. He was much further south there. And uh, I managed to get a win in distance mode. So the next step is to then move over to the country battle and see how we get on on the country. Can we back up that win? Can we get a back-to-back -back wins between the two modes? This is my aim. And this is um, tried a few different things recently, but I really want to try and see if I can achieve this. The switch between the different styles, I think, makes it quite challenging. Um, not as challenging as one of the other um, attempts I made recently, which is no moving, panning, zooming uh, on either mode, and one guess um, on the distance battle, which was uh, very tricky indeed. I'll, I will do other videos of those, and I'll attempt those again. But here, I wanted to try and get back to back, and, and here we've got Kenya straight away. So the the um, rear, view mirror, rear view mirror on the end of the bonnet there, is a, is a giveaway for Kenya as well as the landscape and so straight in with Kenya right into round two uh, white bollards black cap initially makes me think I think it's over Austria yeah so I know that Austria can have those uh, but it's wrong and I'm trying to remember where else has them So two de two deaths down. I thought maybe it was Slovenia, the neighbouring, but it's incorrect. So I'm now trying to find additional clues, and I'm a bit worried that I might be going out at this point. And I'm also conscious that I've got that 50-50. I could use that if I need to. I don't mind using that. Nothing on here, no additional information so far. So only one person just about gets through at that point. And, and then I realize Serbia is the other country that I always think of similar flag to Slovenia. But we get there in the end using the 50-50 and I'm through to the next round. So we're in suddenly in the final four. That weeded a few people out. And this paved to the concrete road, initial thought straight away is Thailand. I want to get that guess in before the... Uh, so I can lock it in before the timer runs out there and... We're through, as were, as were the other two, and we're straight into the next round. Final three now. And this looks like South America to me. So we're on a bit of a dusty football pitch. A 
no guesses coming in so far from the other two. Then suddenly Velonius gets it in. I think maybe let's try Mexico. It isn't that. There's a there's a Spain guess going in there, so that sort of gives me a bit of comfort that they're in the wrong place entirely. And then there's a little accent on that C. And they think, oh, it's Brazil, and I'm just too slow. Just a couple of seconds too slow there. And I finish in third place. So I don't manage to make it back-to-back -back wins. I will try this again. Um, and hopefully soon I'll have a back-to-back -back win between the two game modes that I can share with you. Uh, and I can move on to a different challenge. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, that'll really help. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much.